I'm Van. I'm sorry. That's Booby. And Ghosty and and the Culpies unplugged again. What is it? Yeah, Culpies unplugged because I'm charging the phone. Don't oh, worry. okay. Uh, this is. I guess we can call this Alliance Week because we're we're. Uh, <laughs> Might as well. Uh, yeah. We're catching up on all the Patreon Alliance uh, thingamajiggies. Matt, get us your uh, your address, sir. Yeah. I need your address. Oh, he <laughs> we got some merch to send you, sir. I heard you were texting him. I was. I just so texted him. So why didn't you just ask him? I did. I just oh, texted okay. him. But right. I also... But you're saying in here, too. In the send event that us. he watches this before... Before he looks at his Before he looks at his uh, telepahani, oh. then okay. there we are. Um, if you want a shirt, one of the shirts that Matt and Rachel and, and uh, Jay. Jay are getting, a sorry oh secret my. shirt, huh? Yep, sorry secret shirt on the back. Maybe you're sick because of your secrets. Just check the description in our video and you will find the link to be able to get one of those. For timely topical political commentary, you can hit us up at Middle America with Vin and Sorry. Don't forget, any gear that you send us, any pictures that you send us with any of our gear, we will feature you in our films. Right. Also, uh, got a pretty big announcement coming up. We do. Uh, that will affect the channel positively. People that, are like, are they pregnant again? No, no we're not. We're not. <laughs> uh, but it's something that uh, the entire village can take a, take part in. So, uh, so that's fun. Yeah. Oh, my gosh. So I was visiting my sister today, and I told her, she was like, whoa. She couldn't believe that car seat when I showed it to her, the one that the wheels pop out of. And uh -huh. I was like, of course, she doesn't know that we do this channel. So I was just like, yeah. I was like, friends of ours from online, you know, purchased that for us. And she was like, she's like, well, this is no joke. This is a nice car seat. She's like, <laughs> she's like, honestly, though, she's like, if I ever had another one, she's like, I would definitely want one of these. I'm like, they're pretty expensive. <laughs> <laughs> so thank you very much. <laughs> yeah, but we're loved. No, I didn't say it. <laughs> I was like, I was like, yeah, right, I think our friends, right. they helped us out right. because it was very expensive. Right. People laugh us. Laugh us. <laughs> okay. Um, a couple people have been complaining their intros are too long. Too bad. Yeah, uh, people always complain. You can skip past it. I mean, people uh, are Deftones board by who's which of Anarchy 99. This is. I am extremely surprised that this song came from Anarchy 99. Doesn't sound like an Anarchy 99 song, but anyway. But it is. Uh, Deftones. I don't um, know why the name of the song makes me feel like laughing. Bored? Yeah. Who names the song Bored? The Deftones. I guess so. Go. <laughs>
different song. Yeah. You it's can't really. Book. What is this? Did you feel bored? Supposedly new metal. This new. Uh, well, yeah, Deftones, obviously. Deftones, new metal, yeah. I met these guys in uh, New York. Virgin Records, when the White Pony album was out. That was like their classic record. That's the one with the passenger song on it, your favorite song. Oh. Yes. <laughs> um, <sighs> you, you've met like a decent amount of people. See, the thing with me is I don't recognize them. Like when we saw Neil Scars in, in <laughs> Boston, and you were like, oh, look, there goes Tim. I was like, what? I would have never oh, yeah. recognized yeah, you had him. yeah, no idea it was Tim. No. <laughs> no yeah. way. Yeah, yeah. Watch <laughs> off, watch off. Um, yeah, but um, it was at a it was an al album signing. Mm -hmm. I mean, so then I mean, it was like it was obvious obviously. that it was them, and uh, we we were hanging out with Chi Chang afterwards. Chi Chang is a bassist. He ended up dying. He went to A and Sof, but um, mm. he died in a car. Well, he had a car accident and he was on like a coma for like a month or whatever. And oh, then you're he, kidding me? Or like a year. I forgot what it was, but he oh. ended up he ended up. Um, Dying, but he was a really cool dude though. <laughs> he signed my journal. Mm -hmm. I had this journal, you know, that I kept for everything. And he, yeah. he's like, Yeah, yeah, yeah. What, what, do you have anything? Because what happened was, like, we went and talked to him and, you know, shook their hands or whatever. And mm -hmm. then we were just walking around because we had nothing to do because we'd cut school. Mm -hmm. And then somebody was like, I don't know if you guys know who the Deftones are, but Chi Cheng is just walking around in the store. And so we ran back to Virgin, and sure enough, everybody was gone, but he was there. Oh my god! And he was just walking around and uh, doing what? What do you mean he was walking? Well, he around? was just collecting music. He had this whole stack of CDs Seriously? that he was like trying to. Yeah. Oh my gosh. Yeah, and um, which I thought was the most amazing thing. And then I thought to myself, man, how's he gonna? How's he gonna afford all that? <laughs> you know, I'm still thinking like a high schooler, and then it was like, oh. You know, like either Virgin would just give it to him for free, or he'll he'll be fine. Like, yeah, you know what I mean? yeah. But he was really cool because I could tell that he was tired because they'd been doing it the whole day. Yeah. And then he was just trying to like finally have some time to himself. And then here come these these kids, you know. Mm -hmm. um, but he was really really. Did you guys good bug us. him for a long time, or? He sat and talked to us for about twenty minutes. I I I I kind of like pulled everybody away. Mm -hmm. I was like, oh man, thank well, I just I just felt bad, you know. Yeah. Like anytime like somebody does that and goes out of their way to give you that that type of time and attention and stuff, like you didn't want to take advantage of it. Yeah, I didn't want to take advantage of it, but I uh Sharif was like, Yeah, you know, I write music too and da 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 da. Oh my word, I'm sure they hear that all the time. Yeah, he's like, Yeah, me and we're gonna start a band or whatever, which you know, we had a band for like two minutes, you know. Mm -hmm. <laughs> it was me, him, Ralph. You know, we had no drummer, we had no nothing, and yeah. But, but he was like, "Oh yeah, good luck. I hope you guys, you know." Da, da, da. And uh, yeah, he was cool. Yeah, he was a really cool. good dude. Uh, okay, so this song is called "Bored." Can I push this back without knocking anything over? Yeah. There's like a phantom bad smell in our house. Oh my gosh. <clears throat> Uh, and then there's a bad smell up here because the window's not completely closed and it's raining and it's hitting the carpet. I swear, the next house, everything is going to be hardwood floor. Problem solved. With uh, some nice, cozy throw rugs. Is that like rugs? Mm, mm, I want it, then. Mm. Yeah, you're such a baby. <laughs> So what did you think of the song? Okay, I liked it. Musically, I really enjoyed it. It was What fun. did you like about it? Okay, I, I don't know what they were singing about, but to me, it was like a, the person that just kind of gets bored and then shit happens because they were bored. Is that what it was about? Because, like, um, there was like... Ooh, wait. Um, the way I lie. Um, I, no, it was, at, it was at the ending that I was kind of like, I wonder if that's what it's about. Anyway, that's what it meant to me. I will come clean right there. It gets worse. Yeah, it's more. I get bored. It's like, there's just more. There's like a lot of stuff. But it's just because I just, I get bored. And like, do you ever do stuff that is not so much of a good idea, but you only did it because really it came down to you were bored? When I was just bored. When I was, I always say like when I was in the hospital, they had a bunch of questions surrounding boredom. Yeah. And like... You know, it was like, sometimes I will do things because I'm bored, or mm -hmm. something. 
But I, I remember, like I said, growing up, my, my mom and my stepdad fought like cats and dogs. And right. then they'd go through these little seasons where everything was okay. And I, I remember being bored, like... Is something gonna pop off? I wish somebody... Yeah. Because it was exciting. You know? It wasn't fun. <laughs> it wasn't fun when the cops showed up. Well, it was fun when the cops showed up. But it wasn't fun when the kids... When people were, like, asking, like, getting into your business and stuff, mm -hmm. that wasn't fun. But when the cops would show up and all this, and she'd be yelling at them, I mean, they had they had some wars, man. They had some Gosh. wars. My mom, I told you about this. Like there was like this like, <clears throat> like steel. We had this like cast iron oh, yeah. steel outerwear that you know in Florida that was out on like. It I don't know like, what. It means like lawn furniture that was all metal. But it right? was all metal. Yeah. It was like. It was weird. It was like this slab. It wasn't like a porch. Like it wasn't raised. Yeah. And it wasn't screened in. It was no. just a slab of concrete. Yeah, that's very typical in that every, warmer places. Yeah, that everybody kind of and so like the on. so Bob the uh, the 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 social worker or whatever mm -hmm. that used to visit us to try to keep our family from killing each other was there, and then <laughs> Mr. Man, my stepfather was there, and my mom was there, and. Um, so this was the first, because my stepfather never took part in the whole family counseling thing. He thought the whole thing was BS. Oh, really? Yeah, he thinking, I don't, we don't need that. You know, some guy coming in telling me how to run my house. You know? So he never got it. So finally, he decided he was going to, you know, something had happened or whatever. And he decided he was going to, he was going to participate. And the thing about my stepdad at the time was, you know, he and my mom would have all these jihads. But then when there was a stranger around them, he, he was so charismatic and so... Oh, my word. That would make me so angry. Right. Oh, and my he, God. And so nice and being like, what's wrong with you? And yeah, I mean, yeah, you know, I'm not... See, you could totally do that. <clears throat> like, you really could. People like you right off. Oh, they so loved So you were like a bad person... To this day, I love them. Right. And they had their right. wars or whatever. And I saw And she family. was your blood. Yeah, she's blood, but I still lie to you. You know, you yeah. know when I talk about him, I very I rarely say anything negative. I know. I know. And I love him. Shout out to the big homie. <laughs> <laughs> well, you know, when the funeral happened for my mom, like, I was going to mm -hmm. him. I wasn't going to my right. biological dad. So, <clears throat> so, <laughs> so anyway, we're sitting there watching this. And of course, my older brother was was. Yeah, his, I think it's so cute when you smile. Was kind of naive, you know. So he's like, "Oh, maybe things will get better." And my younger brother at the time was, he wasn't really conscious about what was going on. But I was just sitting there like, <laughs> "Oh my god!" Just imagine me at like, yes, <laughs> Johan's age. <just, laughs> and then you know, my my mom is getting more and more agitated, and so now the the counselor wasn't used to seeing like the Jamaican ethnic side of my mom. Yeah. Like my mom wasn't, she was never fake, yep. but when Bob would come around, she would be talking and we were all trying to figure out what was going on. I obviously was the problem child. They were trying to figure out like what was the best strategy to, to deal with me. And, and so she was very, very concerned for me at the time. So he always saw her in a role of the concerned mother and then the big issue with Junior was that he was resentful of my stepfather because we had to move around all the time. So then there was that angle, so she was concerned about that because mm -hmm. she's like, well, your little brother, that's his dad, what do you yeah, want me to right. So, like, he always saw her in that type of role, so when, when and really, honestly, their, those two, their issues were the root cause of, our, of everybody's problems. They were the issue. Yeah. So, well, yeah. So he's going there, and, and uh, well, not so much with me. I was going to be a problem regardless. I'm pretty sure, no matter what, you could have put me in the Beverly Hillbilly, Hill, Hills, whatever, I'd have still been a problem. Like, that's just how I am. I think, yeah. So I do believe. <laughs> so, so she's getting more and more and more agitated. She's trying to keep it together. He's doing the charismatic thing, and then now he starts... So then the guidance counselor, or the guy, the, the counselor... Put her hand, put his hand on my mom's, you know, hand to calm her down, and then she got really angry about that because she's like, I'm now looking like the crazy person, because you know, he had oh never seen God, her. Be so angry. He had never seen her in that yeah. in that situation. So she started raising her voice at at Bob, the counselor, and then and then Mr. Man <laughs> says. 
puts his hand on her shoulder and says, Beverly, just, just calm down and tell the man what you want to say in a calm way. Oh my God! <laughs> Why are you so angry? <laughs> so I see my mom who... Did you know it's about to happen here? I knew something was going to happen because something always happens. But who could have predicted? But who could know? <laughs> So there they are in this very heavy steel lawn stuff or whatever. My mom gets out of her chair, pulls the chair over her head. And these things were heavy. extremely heavy. Wham! Breaks the thing on. I don't even know how that happened. Breaks it because Mr. Man's like, ah! You know? Breaks it on his arm. Bob jumps up. He's he's some white dude from, you know, Palm Bay, Florida. He doesn't know about this stuff, like, you know, whatever. <laughs> <laughs> so all he knew was that, oh, little Vincent is, uh, Vincent yeah. got in a fight at school. Yeah. Vincent broke a window. Vincent choked his brother. You know, you know, Junior left. He ran away. Then, you know, like, he doesn't even know this stuff. Wham! Blah, 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 blah. Bunch of, bunch of bad water. <laughs> and a bunch of Jamaican accent, and and he was scared to death. And then of course, Mr. Man was like, "You see, Bob, this is a reason I can't I can't have a rational conversation. This oh my I, god! This is why I was so hesitant to meet you. So my mom was, ah! he's like, I'm just gonna go. <laughs> and of course, that was his out. He never had to do it again. He never had to yeah. do it again. So I was watching through the whole, you know, glass door, whatever, whatever, this whole oh thing go down. Gosh. And nice. at that point, you know, my mom now looks like just this crazy person. Mm -hmm. And I, I, I was very, I was thoroughly excited. I didn't feel bad at all. I didn't feel, you know, whatever. I didn't feel bad for him because we all knew what he was right, doing. Right. I didn't feel bad for her because it was like, well, you keep staying with him. Right. My brother was extremely angry. At who? Junior, well, he's mad at Mr. Man. My older brother was extremely mad at Mr. Man. I was like, he does this all the time. Every time they're in public, he acts like oh he's, you know, God. whatever. So, like, I'm like, she's staying with it. So, obviously, she thinks it's fine. So, I was, I was thoroughly entertained. I said, what'd you think, Mr. Bob? <laughs> he scrambled away, got this little, you know, two-seater little... Ah! <laughs> he was out. You Did you really say, what did you think? Oh, absolutely. <laughs> I absolutely did. <laughs> I was very entertained. I really wanted to hear from him. Because he was extremely quiet. <laughs> I wanted to hear from him. No, he's very quiet. He was very quiet. He didn't... He did. <laughs> <laughs> did you ever see him again after that? Oh, yeah. He came back the next week and we just... He, kept going like it didn't happen? Just kept going like nothing what? happened. What? What? He, well, he tried. Well, he said like when it was my time, we'd play NBA Jam. He'd sit down next to me and play NBA Jam. You know, his video game. And he'd be like, "So, you know," he's like, "Yeah." So, what did you think about last week? And I was like, "Oh, it's great." He was like trying to dig in and be like, "I'm traumatized." Like yeah. he was trying to say, "You can tell me your real feelings." And I don't, as best as I could tell, I wasn't traumatized by the event. I thought it was amazing. I thought it was great. I thought I, it was it was it was more than I could have hoped for. Oh my god! Because I knew something was gonna happen to him. I knew he wasn't gonna put any hands on her, like in front of all those, especially in front of white people. He would never do that. He would never. White people love my stepdad. Love him to this day. Love him. Wow. He was one of those accessible blacks. Yeah. So he, I knew he wasn't gonna hurt her, you but I knew she was. Him. She. I knew she was gonna. I knew she was gonna hurt him though. But he. It looked like he was like completely fine with that price to pay because that way he he, he would give him an out. He would never have to do it ever again in his life. Because basically, my mom was never gonna put herself in that situation again. You know what I'm saying? So wow. wow. He convinced. So anyway, I get bored. So I so you know, I, I my entire childhood I grew up that way. You know, and I saw a lot of terrible stuff. But the things that bothered me the most was when the kids in school would ask me what happened, why were the cops at your house, yeah. da, 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 da. But if that didn't happen... You were fine. I'd have been fine. And there were times when my stepdad went after my mom, but my brother got in there and he'd pull a weapon or whatever, whatever, and that, that would be the end of it, you know? So I never really saw, you know, and, and my brother... Ended up doing a couple things that that were that were overboard, but you know, you know how we are with with women, mm -hmm. like in protecting women and whatever. So, 
My perspective on the whole thing was I could never help my mom because I was too small and the fact was we would move all over the place. We ended up in Florida. We were in Maine. We ended up all the way at the at different a completely different coast. Mm -hmm. I mean not coast, but you know, went from north extreme north yeah. where you're on the border of Canada to extreme south. Yeah. Because she was trying to get away from him. Mm -hmm. And then he would come he would end up back there. Right. The very fact that he was in our house in Florida, I was like Man, you 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 pulled me up from all my friends and all this to 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 get away from this dude, and here he is. So yeah, that that would be tough. So I'm like, we're constantly losing in this equation. Mm -hmm. So obviously she likes it. And she doesn't care how she's affecting us. So I didn't really, you know, obviously, like I said, if he put hands on her, then my older brother would handle business. Mm -hmm. But most of the time, it was just yelling and screaming and her hitting him. And I just I was very very entertained by it. And I, you know, it never. <laughs> was not traumatized at all. My little brother, I think, was traumatized by it, you know. But I wasn't. And Junior was mad. He blamed Mr. Man for it. And I remember arguing with him. I'm like, how was it his fault? <laughs> you know? He's like... Yeah, but he knew what he was doing. We all knew what he was doing. But she knew what he was doing. And yeah. she's still with him. He so I'm have. like, you know, of course, now as an adult, I realize it's not that easy. Right. Because I was in a relationship before you where, mm -hmm. you know, <laughs> a lot of people would have said, what are you doing? Right. You know, like, right. what are you doing? And I, you know, it wasn't, it's not easy to just, mm -hmm. you know, get rid of somebody that you've given your, and then the longer mm -hmm. you're in the relationship, the harder it is to give it up. Absolutely. So, yeah. you know, I, I, you know, it wasn't until I was in that type of relationship where I was like, oh, Okay. You know, where I was able to kind of make some peace with my mom mm -hmm. about it, but yeah, so I get bored. There you go. <laughs> I don't know what this has to do with this song, but they want. Um, no, I just said that it was because people, you know, I did a lot of stuff because I got, I was bored. That's how we got there. But not, not like crazy. You've never done anything like crazy because you were. No, bored. for me, it was always like, I always wanted something to pop off, like, but my parents weren't like, it wasn't like that sort of environment. So it was always, I, it was terrible as it is. I always want, I was like, I hope a funeral pops off soon because. A funeral? What a the funeral, hell is wrong with you? A funeral because this is awful. But they were, they were mild, they were entertaining to me. Funerals were entertaining to yes, you? Yes, because, because you, I didn't feel sad about it because I didn't really know the people. My These are all greatest, old people. They're all old people. Okay, not yeah. young people. No, no, no. They were never young people. Okay. It's always old people. All right. And so there was the. There was the element of, because we were kids, we'd be whispering to our cousins on the way in, you think they're going to open the casket so we can look at the body? And then we'd be talking about that as we'd be going in, and then we'd always say, I think I saw them breathing, and then everybody would start getting freaked out, all of us kids, and the adults are over there crying, and so then you feel, it, it was entertaining to watch, like, because everybody always, like, had themselves together very well, and so then all of a sudden now they're not together, they're crying, you know what I'm saying? Like, right, I don't right, know, right. it was just... It was just my version of some entertainment, I guess. I know, it's sick. You know what's funny? It's like, your board thing is is, is infinitely worse than mine. <laughs> <laughs> Revered oh, by you and trust to figure out, I burn that gift to you, doll, and let it shine before. Yeah. See, Chino, like I said, he has just <laughs> weird lyrics that, that sometimes I just feel like he just... Did some automatic writing and and then boom, mm -hmm. there you go. Like I don't really, his, his lyrics are like impossible to decipher sometimes. Hear me spit on you, wither eye, remold it into gold and bury I from sun, reborn left to sigh, recur maybe I'll be born and simplify the way I lie for. Yeah, I get bored. I get bored. Maybe, maybe he's talking about the person's perception of him. Like, hear me spit on you. Which is kind of, maybe he's talking about his fans' perception of him. Because he's a singer. Mm -hmm. So instead of his character, you know, the, the audience might say, Oh man, this is amazing stuff. But he's looking at like he's just spitting on them. See what I'm saying? Because it's coming from his mouth. Uh huh. So his voice, his vocals... The fans love it. They're hearing his voice, but he's looking at it like, "Oh, it's just spit." You see oh, what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. um, re and then, and then he's saying, "Remold it into gold." 
So he he probably doesn't think that what he has to offer is that good. But then when we hear it, we're remolding it into gold. Yeah. And um, bury eye from the sun, which is interesting because when Rastafarians talk, they're like they they talk about that. They'll say, "I this, I that, oh, I really? and I." Yeah, yeah, yeah. So and Chi Cheng is kind of like a Rasta. So I don't know if oh I don't know. Yeah, <clears throat> that that's when all the white boys were were walking around with dreadlocks and all that and, mm -hmm. and getting into Rastafarianism. So mm -hmm. you know maybe that's where that's coming from. If you listen to a lot of reggae, you'll you'll hear that. Oh, okay. You know, God love I. They'll say I instead of me. Hmm. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So like instead of saying bury me from the sun, he's saying bury I from sun. Mm -hmm. um, um, reborn left to sigh. Recur. Maybe I'll be born and simplify the way I lie. So maybe he's saying people have a perception of him, but it's all a lie because that's not really who he is. And maybe hmm. he's getting bored with his lifestyle. Yeah. Which. Yeah. Yeah. Which. Uh, this Adrenaline, is that their, this is probably their second record. Let me see their discography. Because hmm. I think they had another one called Around the Fur, I think was their debut record. I'm not sure if Adrenaline was their debut record. Let's see. Yeah, see, Around the, f no, 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 no. Around the Fur came out in 97, which would mean that Adrenaline might have been their first record. And if that's the case, yep, Adrenaline was their first record. So, I don't know, it's Deftones, I have no idea what he's saying, that's the best shot that I have, but uh, thank you guys for hearing the story of me getting bored. What do you, what do you, what do you <laughs> give the song? I'm actually giving it a uh, 8.9, because I, I enjoyed the sound of it, and it meant something to me. I'll give it an 8.9 too. I'm very surprised that you like the song. Not like the riff. What the? Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's pretty cool. It's a pretty cool. It's a, pretty cool, it's a badass riff, especially when they played it by itself. It's pretty awesome. Okay, there you go. Vin out. Sorry out. Gone.